Cooking Fresh with Roxanne here. Boy, I feel delinquent. I haven't been sharing with you these delicious salads I've been having from my garden. Now, I don't have as much lettuce to share. I'm still working on getting some, um, they're called little gems. And what they are, these baby, um, uh, romaine lettuce, uh, hearts, but I don't have those grown yet. So, bought me some romaine lettuce. Now, I'm going to be serving cucumber on the side and some sweet onion. And the part, the super cool and unique part is the herbs I've been pulling from my garden. And I've been doing some research, you know, um, for entertainment purposes only. I'm reading things like mint, good for your lungs, keeps your mind clear for entertainment purposes only. And interestingly, and basil... I've heard basil's really good for helping you focus on things. This is the mint. Not as much mint as everything else because it can be overpowering. We're also going to have a little bit of arugula. Arugula just tastes amazing. It tastes like pepper. Um, I've read articles that say that cilantro can be really good for things like blood for purification and heavy metal detoxing. And this right here is good old-fashioned parsley. Parsley is actually good. And the bladder helps to clear the bladder out. I read an article once that said that natives back in the olden times used to drink, um, I think it was parsley tea, the the root and the leaves both, they bring it together. And I think it was really good at helping the woman like get over her postpartum and, and release some of the toxins. And it was a diuretic, a natural diuretic uh, for entertainment purposes only, meaning that, you know, she'd um, go to the bathroom more. Because women retain a lot of water when they have a baby. Never had one, but I've been told it can happen. So, hey, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these herbs and I'm going to bring them all together and make them into shovel. Meaning, I'm going to, I'll show you. Shh, Roxanne, just show them. Okay, here's the cilantro. Cut the cilantro into shovel. What's that mean? It's really tiny. Because what I really want to do, I'm going to make this into kind of a, kind of a mesh that I can mix in between the lettuce and I'm afraid there might be too much because I don't want to overpower the herbs. I'm going to stick them in there, mix them up, and they'll have like a, I don't even call it like a potpourri. Potpourri of goodness and technically for entertainment purposes only, healing. Healing, you know. I take great pride in um, uh, using herbs as fresh as possible. When I have the herbs in there fresh, I just take great pride in using them because I know the fresh volatile oils from the herbs are super good for us. So I, I look at that like a like like a vitamin. <laughs> oh man. Oh, parsley smells amazing. Okay, now what I'm going to do with the basil. I took most of the leaves off. I mean the stems off. On the part where it's the flower, the reason I pull these is I kind of want the guy to bush out more. And this is actually, I believe, Thai basil. It's a lot more licorice than the regular basil I'm used to. Stick that all kind of in a pile. Even the flower. Ooh, boy, I wish you could smell this. Mmm. Oh, it smells like licorice. That's what I'm saying. I got these seeds from my mother-in-law. And I see she bought me Thai basil because they're awfully pe uh, licorice smelling. Oh, my God. And when you cut it, that's when it really exudes more of the volatile oils. It just really... Oh my god. I'm gonna smash it some more. Whew. My god. I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna mix, mix it all up. This is the last guy to go. Rigla, and then we're gonna put the mint on top. Mix it all together. I just, you know, make a blend of it, make a slurry of it. <clears throat> and then I, tease me, I just sneezed a bit ago. My allergies are not helping me. 
Like, I don't know whose allergies would be helping them. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Ugh. Silly goose. Okay, I'm gonna cut. See, on the arugula, it's got bigger leaves and stems, so I'm actually cutting it two or three ways. I don't know, I almost miss it. Arugula is like pepper. It's got a sharp, almost hot, real pepperiness to it. I love arugula in so many things because it makes the dish really stand out. People don't quite understand what is that I taste in there. Hmm. Especially when I mix it with things like I put in a meatloaf and stuff. People are like, huh? Who puts arugula in meatloaf? I do. I do because I'm, you know, again, I'm trying to trick your senses. It tastes good, right? And I want to trick your senses. I want you to kind of wonder. What was that? I like to taste. If you give too much of it away, it's not as much fun. Food should be fun. Oh, man. I like the smell of the mint. Yeah, I'm serious. This is good. Oh, yeah. Mint and onion. It's smelling good. Now, I don't have it made up right now. I ran out, but we're going to do red wine vinaigrette. Look back on the YouTube post for the red wine vinaigrette recipe. Man, that's a winner winner chicken dinner with that. Oh yeah, by the way, we are not having chicken for dinner tonight. This salad is going to be served alongside some amazing steelhead. I'm from the Pacific Northwest. I love steelhead. Why, Roxanne? Put that all together, mix it up. The steelhead, when I was a kid, I was told, Google it, that steelheads were big trout. I love trout. Mm. And I love steelhead. Now, let's take a look at that steelhead. Oh, by the way, that's how much I have here, almost a half a cup. We'll mix it up. Put, I'm gonna put quite a bit in here because it's good for us. Should I put all of it in there? Should I put all of it in there? Who's okay? I'll put it all in there. It's gonna taste great. That red wine vinaigrette's gonna come together with the mint. The mint and the basil, really, that's amazing. We put mint and basil. It doesn't seem like it'd be that, oh my god, but it is awesome. And then you get a little arugula on the back side of your palate. And then on the front, you've got the parsley and the cilantro doing the rumba. Oh, so good. So good. Now, I don't really get it too far in there. Because we're going to pull it from the bottom and up. Okay. I'm going to... What we're going to do is make our little salads, and then we're going to put the onions and the um, oh, cucumber on top. And then sprinkle it with, or drizzle it with, the red wine vinaigrette. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Sam, why are you such a dip? Okay. Uh-huh. Here. There it is. Now look down inside there. You can see the different herbs. And again, that and it's gonna be amazing. Now, surprise! Steelhead. Nummy. Big, huge trout. That's what's for dinner. Oh my gosh. Cooking fresh with Roxanne. Boy, oh boy. Wish you were here. I'd put up a plate out for you because. More than I can eat. More than my partner and I can eat. Anyway, cooking fresh with Roxanne. Thank you so much. And remember, if you make a boo boo, don't worry. Four hours later, you get to try your hand at it again or the very next day. And cook fresh. Also, remember our sponsors Life Wave, The Patches. Love them. Great for my arthritis. And Live Good. Live Good has some amazing pricing right now on things like their formula for children, their formula, the vitamins for children. Check them out, and thank you so much. God bless you.